What's up guys, Matt back again, and this is the Blood of Saiyan Super Saiyan Future Trunks, and in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing him. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. We're back with one of the latest Blood of Saiyans figures from earlier this year, and this time it's a fan favorite, Super Saiyan Future Trunks. People love Trunks, especially from his first confrontation with Frieza and King Cole. The figure is actually based on a manga panel from DBZ chapter 138, right after Trunks defeats King Cold and Frieza. His likeness is great. Now, if we compare him to the manga, I would say Trunks' hair is covering less of his face, and it makes him look like he has a big forehead, but whoever sculpted this figure did a great job in cleaning that up and leaving his bangs still covering his face slightly. The entire sculpt is pretty impressive with a really cool looking hair sculpt, which is pretty much the standard in Blood of Saiyans. A textured and layered outfit and his awesome sword are also included. I'm glad they put him in this more interesting pose too, as it makes the whole figure look much better. Of course, I'm not the biggest fan of figures needing to be on bases for their display, and this trunks unfortunately has pegs sculpted into his feet so he needs the base to stand. Now, modern Blood of Saiyans figures, like nearly every modern Crane figure, have no shading. This trunks may not include shading, but what Blood of Saiyans does that can be hit or miss is give their figures a metallic hair finish. I think it makes them look a lot more unique and distinct, so it makes up for the lack of shading slightly. My biggest issue with this trunks is his size. I'm not sure what's going on with Blood of Saiyans because one month we'll get something awesome like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is a pretty good size, but other months, we'll get something like the UI Goku or this Trunks. He is such a pipsqueak of a figure that it almost ruins the whole thing. I can't fully appreciate all of its details when it's just so small. I think this Trunks has a lot of good things going for it, but if you're not into very small figures, then this might be a skip for you. Well, those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you made it this far in the video, then please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you wanna go even further beyond in supporting the channel, consider becoming a YouTube member. It starts at $3, and that $3 tier gives you permanent access to our growing Discord community full of awesome Dragon Ball collectors and fans just like you. We do watch parties, buy, sell, trade, play games, and just have great conversations. And of course, if you wanna go and get into our monthly giveaway, then you can become a 10, 15, or $20 member to possibly win Crane figures, Ichiban Kuji figures, or even an entire Ichiban Kuji set. But I think that's all I got for you guys today. So until the next video, I will see you all later.